Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. I'm going to try to keep this one really short. Um, I basically uh, did one thing, but it was a really big thing. It's pretty, uh, pretty complicated. Um, so I'm going to go over that real quick. Uh, try to keep this nice and short. I think this is uh, part 14 of the video series. Um, really starting to get the hang of the Unreal Engine, um, liking this more and more, all these logic gates. So uh, what are we looking at here? What are all these uh, little s s colored spaghettis everywhere? This is uh, my crafting system on my main character. Um, it's pretty complicated now. Uh, just to kind of put it in perspective, this is all the other code on my character that does every single other thing. Um, movement, crouching, swimming, jumping, this is a uh, armor, calculation for XP, this is consumables, uh, there's some server stuff happening, um, I think this is for the bow, this is melee, this is like tree and rock chopping, um, projectile, all that stuff, and then this is crafting, this is just crafting, right here kind of crazy um <clears throat> real quick i'll kind of walk you through it uh to kind of make sense of it um i'm starting to understand this stuff so much now that um you know i can kind of create these elaborate systems um basically when you hit a crafting button the crafting order comes in here at this red thing and a crafting order is comprised of um you know the item and then how many you want to craft and then this is just a reference to the button, so I can change the color of that button. Um, depending on if we run out of stuff, we can change it to red or something. So basically, um, first thing you want to do in the order that this happens in is critical. Um, first thing I need to do is check if it's a crafting station, because some of my crafting station um, logic for crafting is done inside my character which is um actually i was thinking it was bad for a little while and i was like i need to eventually convert this all to the crafting station but now i'm thinking this might be like a, a huge save for me if i want to ever add something like um if you want to like unlock blueprints so like if you um have like a, a, a crafting list of items and you don't want everything to be in that list Let's say you want to add stuff to the list like once the character reaches a certain level. The pretty much only way to do that is to have some of the crafting logic done inside the character. Otherwise, you would have to try to transfer all these all this information to a blueprint item like the crafting bench, which would be really hard. But since I'm doing some of the crafting bench logic inside the character here, I can kind of manipulate the crafting list which is um, kind of fortunate I left it this way for now. But um, after we check if it's a crafting bench, um, the first thing we do is uh, check if we're crafting. So if we are crafting, which means we're currently crafting something, we go up here. And this is what I've pretty much added is a crafting queue. And it's kind of simple. Basically, we check if there's anything in crafting queue one, if there's nothing in crafting queue one, we set that. If there's something in crafting queue one, we check two, check three, check four, check five. If they're all full, we change the thing to red. So our crafting queue's full and we can't fill up anymore. And then we just update the visuals for the crafting queue. And that's that. But if we're not crafting, we can kind of come down into here. And then you're down into here in these loops so this is how things um, keep crafting, um, even though stuff can't enter down here. And as soon as you enter down here, you check crafting. So like nothing can get down in here as soon as um, something does come down here. And we set the thing we're crafting and the amount right after that. That way, and this is important, that's the order of operations that's so important here. If someone's clicking a bunch of things on the crafting list, like a whole bunch of things while something's crafting, it won't change them. See, I had that problem earlier that it was changing the item and the amount. Now it can't change because it's locked. 
right here because we're crafting and it can't get past here it'll go up here so it can't come down here if we're already crafting so after after we set our crafting order we um, come down here and count what's in our inventory um, for like fiber wood and uh, stone and rope and stuff and I can add things to this if there's more items or change these if it's in a crafting bench um, and then right after we go through the whole loop for checking the inventory for these uh, items we come up here and uh, check the crafting order against what we just counted so this is like comparing the crafting order to what we just counted and if we're good to go then we come down here if we're not good to go we come up here so if we're not good to go um, we basically um, if there, and if there's nothing else to craft it's basically telling you that um, you don't have the stuff to craft what you're trying to craft and it changes the button to red um, but if there's more stuff in the crafting menu it siphons through that until it doesn't have anything and then it you know turns the button red if you're still trying to craft stuff but um, if you um, do have this stuff to craft it comes through here and right away you want to set the stuff in your inventory to zero I mean you don't have to do it right away you could probably do this further down but I, I just don't want to forget about it um, it's kind of a reminder it's kind of like part of this right here um, because as soon as you start crafting you're gonna remove items from the inventory so you'll have to recount what's in the inventory so you might as well just set those to zero right away and do the recount that way you're not adding on to what you've already counted because this is how that works it, it adds up everything in the inventory so if you didn't reset it it would add on to what it already added um, I guess I could put it in the beginning of this to like reset them to zeros but um, I just did it right here it could go anywhere basically um, but when once you start going into the crafting cycle here we um, update our current craftable and that's the thing on our HUD uh, that's counting down and this is our crafting cooldown um, it sets it right here but then these right here are kind of tied to these right here so we have four resources and that's what this is right here the four resources and they're checking the first resource and removing it checking the second removing it checking the third removing it checking the fourth removing it and if it there's nothing if it doesn't require any then it just skips it um, after it removes all those items it updates your inventory so you'll actually see the items disappear from your inventory like and this will happen instantaneously um, up until this point which is the countdown for like the crafting so it removes the items and starts crafting it and then after it gets done crafting it it gives you your item and I'm gonna I realized I'm gonna have to kind of change this because that's what this red thing is um, if I'm inside a chest and I'm crafting inside my player inventory um, you know it just kind of like loops back through here and um, this updates my player inventory which makes the chest go away I have a different update for when I have a chest open so I'm probably gonna have to like make this go over here and do a different update while also adding this to the inventory I'm just gonna have to do it a little different there I could probably do it in like five minutes but we'll do it later um, and then this right here is basically uh, giving the XP so it checks if we crafted rope um, if we did we give tailoring XP if not everything else is carpentry XP and then it gives the player XP and then it gives the fitness or the intellect why does it say fitness it's intellect yeah it gives intellect for crafting um, and then it comes over here and if there's anything in the crafting queue it cycles through that and then it loops back and then checks the inventory again for uh, what's the next thing in the crafting thing but if there's nothing in the crafting thing sets the crafting to done and saves pretty cool pretty cool um, let's see it in action now let's see if we have stuff in our, we need some materials um, 
kind of ran through all this. Let's grab some off the table. Grab some of that too. All right, so let's craft a bow. And I added a, um, how many you're crafting right there. Um, so we have this up here now. And I kind of strained up the HUD a little bit. Um, started lining it up with like the chest. And right here, I got to line this up a lot better and do it a lot better. But um, so let's, um, let's craft, a, I don't know, like a 10 rope. That's in the crafting queue. Um, let's craft 10 arrows. Let's craft uh, one torch. Maybe a shield. And we'll just leave it like that to see what happens. Once this finishes. And we'll fill it up after it finishes and see how the buttons turn red. It doesn't look like super flawless. Um, this is looking pretty dang good in my opinion. So, boom, we got our bow. Um, taking the rope, everything moved down. So, let's fill up the crafting order. Oh, it's full. It's full. So, ideally, you know, like maybe I don't know, all these would turn red once it filled up, you know, or something. I don't really know how. But that that's not too bad. It kind of changes them after you click on it. Um, and it kind of does something similar if you don't have the materials to do it. It'll just turn that one red that you don't. But then as soon as you get out of it and refresh it, it goes away. Um, this stays luckily. I got that to stay, but, um, the red kind of button thing goes away. I don't, I don't know if I really, it's not super uniform, but, um, I don't know. It works for now, right? Like it tells you that you can't craft and I'm gonna make something pop up here um, if you don't have the materials to craft something because there are situations to where like you can queue up a bunch of stuff and it doesn't check if you're queuing stuff up so like once it gets to these items you might not have the materials in your inventory and it literally will just like insta disappear like it'll, it'll go through like four or five items if you don't have the the materials for all those items they'll just all disappear and it'll, it'll kind of look like the game bugged out and like lost all your crafting but what it is is you don't have the materials and it's just not telling you that so i think instead of this i'll have something pop up red here or maybe i'll have the item pop up and just have it be red and i'll have it stay up for like a few seconds um, and be like you don't have the materials and then after like two or three seconds it'll disappear and it'll go on to the next item and this is only if you don't have the materials so like if I didn't have the materials for that it'd be like you don't have the materials and then one two three and then it'd try to do the rope and if I didn't have the materials for that it'd be like rope you don't have the materials and then one two three and then go the next one I think that would kind of work pretty well for um, you know letting you know that uh you know what's happening with your crafting I think I think everything would kind of work then as far as um you know visually visually telling you what's happening with the crafting system as far as not being able to craft or anything like that um I was thinking about having like a cancel thing for this now that I that I got this far um I don't know how that would work though um, I'm sure I'll be able to think of it now that I got this done um, because uh, it, it this this is kind of complicated because like some games when you queue up a crafting it will take the materials out of your inventory ahead of time and then if you cancel it has to give the materials back which I don't want to do a bunch of coding for giving materials back I don't really like that so I figured I'll just take the materials right before it starts crafting and then you know like you can't cancel like a current craft like that so like it'll be okay as long as it just only takes the materials right before it crafts and then it just you can queue up whatever you want to without checking but then once you go to craft it'll check 
but then that's why you need to tell the player like hey you don't have materials for this and you queued it up you know so like there's different situations um you know on the other end if you take the materials out right when you queue it up you can tell the player right away when they're trying to queue it up that they don't have the materials so that's you know the other the flip side to that um I think I'm going to call the video there. Like I said, I only did this one thing, but it was a really cool thing. Um, this was really complicated. Um, setting up the widget to do this too was... Uh, I, I showed you the code behind uh, making this work, but I didn't show you the widget. Uh, the like, um, you know, this, this box with all these buttons and everything to do that. And then setting this up. I got this to work. It's pretty cool, right? Like it moves uh, both of them and then you move this one. It moves the number. Isn't that sweet? It can only go to 10. Um, figured that'd be pretty good for crafting for now. Like, you don't really need a... And you got a crafting queue. So, I mean, if you wanted to craft, like, a bunch of arrows or something, you can just craft, like, batches of 10. Like, I don't... Get some wood. I don't have any wood. No wood. I guess I'm not showing you the example. Okay. Yeah. We could just... What happened? Oh, did it start crafting and refresh that? See, this would be nice to cancel now. So maybe we will be adding that sooner rather than later. Because I meant to do that a whole bunch of times, but I think it started crafting and it refreshed it, which refreshed this number. Yeah, see, once it starts crafting, it refreshed the number. But if it's crafting... If it's currently crafting like it is right now I think it keeps the number yeah okay so little things like that you know you just got to keep using it and uh, find the little things I'm gonna have to figure that out because that's actually kind of annoying if you're trying to craft click something like right when it finishes you'll you'll mess up your uh, crafting queue but then if I put the cancel thing here you'll just be able to fix it that way so maybe we'll just do that for now we'll work on adding like a cancel thing that shouldn't be too hard, really. I just have to add it in the widget. The widget part would probably be the hardest part for me. But, yep, that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, you know, just making progress little by little. Um, definitely starting to be a game. I can't wait to have a couple days off here. I'm on my uh, last day of work. Um, and I am probably going to start converting these uh, crafting benches with all this new crafting logic and uh, the same features that... I've been working on like all the save for the the chest here and um, you know like new UIs for them and then we'll put our super advanced crafting system logic into the crafting benches because right now they use the the old crafting system see it doesn't queue up and doesn't let you know if it's crafting or anything so we're, we're gonna go through that and um, we'll work on that yeah all right guys Take it easy. See you in the next one.